Ants fall into the largest family of insects, with respect to the diversity of species and the total number of individuals. They belong to a single family, the Formicidae, within the order Hymenoptera, consisting of 11 subfamilies and 297 genera. In 1967, Wilson et al. attained the first ant remains of the Cretaceous period that were estimated to be about 80 million years. Having said this, there are well over 8,800 described species, to date. Most of the genera stem is from the Neotropics and Afrotropical regions. Remarkably, individual colonies may contain 20 million members. Ants dominate much of the terrestrial regions of the world, ranging from deserts to subarctic tundra. Interestingly, recent measurements indicate that approximately one-third of the entire animal biomass of the Amazonian terraformed rainforest is composed of ants and termites. Each hectare of soil contains in excess of 8 million ants, in contrast to only 1 million termites ants, formicity, bear a narrow waist between the abdomen and thorax. The waist is comprised of a one-segmented, petiole, or two-segmented, petiole and postpetiole constriction, located between the thorax and bulbous poster portion of the abdomen or gaster. The gaster is composed of four or five posterior segments. Ants have large heads and powerful jaws. The adult workers and queens bear bent, elbowed or geniculate, antennae consisting of a long basal scape and three eleven short funicular segments. In males, the basal segments are not long, so the antennae will not appear to be bent. The last two or three segments may be enlarged, forming a club. The antennae are believed to function as a two-way communication device, rather than just a receptor. Wang et al. Analyzed the behavior and surface chemistry of many ants, focusing on the use and function of the cuticular hydrocarbons covering the ants' bodies. They found that this layer not only served to protect the ants from dehydration, but also formed a critical role in their communication. Their research showed that when the layer was removed from the antennal surface, information regarding nest identification was lost, no longer allowing the ants to identify their colony. Ants play important roles in natural ecosystems. They are omnivorous feeds and can live in a wide range of habitats. They build nest sites, typically underground, thus contributing to nutrient cycling, seed dispersal, and the scavenging of dead organisms. They are considered major predators of other arthropods and small invertebrates, including pests, such as crop-feeding caterpillars and ticks. Secretions stemming from their metapleural gland, rich in antibiotics, allow them to disinfect moist environments and allow them to live in areas that other organisms do not live in, especially in the tropics. Communication is necessary in order to coordinate the activities within a colony. These are mediated chemical SIGNALS pheromones. Some of these pheromones include a queen pheromone, allowing workers to recognize a queen, the trail following pheromones, used by workers to mark paths between the nest and food, and alarm PHEROMONES cause ants to disperse and or attack. In addition, chemical cues are used to recognize colony estimates and play additionally a role in aggression and territorial boundary markings between colonies. Ants are eusocial insects. They perform cooperative brood care, where the adults care for the immatures, bear overlapping generations, and have a division of labor among reproductive and non-reproductive workers groups. The latter group is responsible for performing tasks necessary for colony survival, including foraging, care of immatures and reproductive adults, and nest building. Such a division of labor results in the formation of castes or specialized behavioral groups. Ants display complete or holometabolous metamorphosis, consisting of four life stages egg, larvae, pupae, and adult. The aforementioned first three stages are collectively called a brood. The ant colony is almost exclusively female until the time of the nuptial flight. The life cycle clothes a two lonely can divide into three parts. The ending stage is initiated with the nuptial flight. The virgin queen, virgin reproductive, leaves the nest, leaving behind the queen and her sisters, who are sterile workers or virgin reproductives. When she meets one or more males and is inseminated, she finds a suitable nest site in the soil or plants and builds a first nest cell and rears the first brood of workers. The workers eventually take on the tasks of foraging, nest enlargement, and brood care, so that the queen can confine her duties to egg laying. The ergonomic stage site find an increase in the world devoted to colony growth. The reproductive stage is set after one or more seasons when the colony begins to produce new queens and males, and these sexual forms go forth to begin new colonies.